In this video, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour golf challenge. However, there is a massive and grueling twist. I cannot leave this golf course until I birdie every single hole right here at the Max Royal Montgomery course in Antalya, Turkey. I've got 24 hours to complete each hole. And by complete, I mean, of course, birdie. So, I'll play the hole, I don't make birdie, be straight back to the tee and do it all over again. Yes, that's right, I can't move on to the next hole until I've made birdie, which means technically I could be stuck playing a single hole for an entire day. Now this challenge asks so many questions. First of all, is this even possible? How many holes can I play? How would my body hold up? How would my mind hold up? Or how many miles am I going to walk? How many steps am I going to do? This video is in partnership with the guys at Fitbit, who I've been working with for an awful long time now, getting ready for this video. They've sent me the brand new Fitbit Sense 2. This thing tracks my sleep, my stress, it's going to be very key. It monitors my heart rate, and I've been using it to get ready for this challenge, and it's going to be tracking me as we go. It's going to be very interesting to see how my heart rate is impacted by some of those short putts for birdie, because I'm not going to want to miss them, or else I'm going to be going all the way back to the tee. So how did this all come about? I wanted a big golf challenge for the channel, but felt that 24 hours of golf on its own just wasn't enough. My first idea was to go and play a place called Lofoten Links in Norway, where for parts of the year, the sun never sets, meaning we could play golf all around the clock. However, we'd no, missed the window for this weather-wise, so it was back to the drawing board. Am I right in saying you guys have nine holes of night golf there? You do? Excellent. Then we'll hopefully see you in a few weeks. We're here. This place is massive. We got checked in the day before the challenge was going to start, and most importantly, I needed to get plenty of sleep in the bank. I've got to get some sleep. As you can see on my stats, I'm averaging below six hours sleep a night a minute, which is not going to get it done leading into a 24-hour challenge. We've got good news, guys. 87 readiness score, almost in the 90s. Well over seven hours sleep, which is decent for me. It's go time. So, no more excuses. We got over to the clubhouse and we had a quick chat with the team there because we did have one or two more logistical challenges to overcome. Night golf there was only nine holes of the 18. And for the daytime, there of course would be lots and lots of other golfers. We needed a way to play the course as much as possible and not get in anyone's way. They also gave me a steer on which holes would be the most challenging. It seemed the second part of the front nine was the one that was going to be the biggest issue, with some long par threes and long par fours, my nemesis. So the plan, amongst the traffic, we were going to tee off on the front nine once and play it through normally, ideally ticking off a birdie or two along the way. But then, disaster struck. We're about to tee off, you can't make this stuff up. We're about to tee off, the weather looks amazing, 27 degrees, and look what's happened. It's literally a monsoon out of nowhere. The guys are saying it's going to clear up, but I mean, if we have to play in this, I hate playing golf with the rain. I don't mind a bit of rain, but this is like deluge. 24 hours in this, especially at the start, where I'll be soaking the whole way through. Oh, this has got this has got to clear up, or else we're in big, big trouble. We had no choice but to hope that Mother Nature was kind to us and go back, get warmed up anyway. The practice facilities were truly fantastic, and after getting my back room on, hitting some balls, it did start to clear it. So I hit a few wedges, and although I'm not sure how much we're going to need my short game today, maybe on the par fives, because greens in reg are going to be absolutely critical. A few putts to get the speed of the greens, and it was time to get on the first tee. Right, they're away, and the timer starts now. So I got in range on hole one, however sadly it wasn't to be, and this was sort of the story of the front nine and the first loop sadly. Some decent enough golf, but the putts just wouldn't seem to drop. The good news though, is that I had seen a lot of the holes now, which would definitely help when we came back around to these later. Although now seeing them in person, six, seven and nine were indeed gonna be very tricky to birdie. I was already starting to worry about just how many times it might take me to make birdie on those holes in particular. And I'd be lying to say if I wasn't starting to doubt whether this challenge would even be possible. Okay, it's fine. Not worried about it. That's nine holes down. Um, Okay, that's very disappointing. Not gonna lie, it's the heart rate. 121, guys, 121. Um, nine holes down, no birdies. Let's be positive, we've seen a bit of the golf course. We're gonna get to probably now sneak back out here amongst some traffic, try and get a few birdies done, and then the golf course will empty. We go into the 10th, see that side of the golf course, and we've just got the place to ourselves. We've got a long way to go. It was time to call in for some encouragement from a good friend of mine, Mr. Peter Finch, who not only knew my game very well, but also knew this course very well too. And it might have bit off a little bit more than I could chew. We're about two hours in, I've played nine holes, zero birdies. The best advice I can give is don't try and force it. Like, you still have a lot of time. Like, the more you go chasing after things, the more likely you are to try and push too hard. Just try and let it happen naturally. 
This Cheers, was great advice, but I'd be lying if I said Cheers, I wasn't mate. still panicking a bit. So we now waited a short while for those final groups to go out, and I used that time to try and warm the putter up on the putting green, which had been stone cold so far. Back to hole number one, but this time I wouldn't be leaving it until I made a birdie. Now, as a shortish par five, this shouldn't have been too taxing, although despite being able to get within 30 yards of the green pretty consistently, to give myself a couple of chances of birdie, I just couldn't get one to drop, which wasn't great, because although the par fives were meant to be a little bit easier, they were of course the longest walks back to the tee. It wasn't until my third go and fourth overall check up, that check I got my pitch up, in really up, close and a strong look to get this birdie bus out of the station. It's more relief than anything guys, it's more relief. Short par three and eight iron was the club. I'd hit a decent one in here first time out earlier, and although I didn't convert, I was feeling pretty confident with the club choice. Same club, same outcome. In tight and a chance to really get things moving. Get in, get in, and we are rocking. Come on, back to back. Let's go. The third hole, a short par four and a good chance to keep this momentum going. A draw around the corner was needed, which would allow for a short approach and hopefully a chance for birdie. No, 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 Sebi. But I missed the first putt back to the tick. Now it's worth noting at this point I had Marcus and Cam out with me helping to film alongside a chaperone from the course. They had buggies, however these were strictly off limits for me and I had to walk back and forth the entire time. Same drive again left me 120-ish into this green 9-iron. The guys had taken me a little literally here and they actually were standing right by the flag. Good news no one was hurt and we had another great chance for birdie. Come on Sebi. Yes, come on, come on. Three down, 15 to go. <laughs> so the fourth hole and another par five. This was indeed a gentle start, but I knew all too well what was waiting for me in a few holes time. So I needed to keep my foot down. This didn't go to plan at first. One ball going wet off the tee. The bird is gone, but the ball is back. Small wins. One going long into the trees that we never found, but then finally, Another ball in play yeah. and in range off the tee, just short of the bunker. And I hit a oh, decent one in. We didn't see it down them, to be honest. Be I wasn't be sure over. if it was short or wet or long and in trouble again. Boys, is that my ball? That's my ball. That is my ball. We're on in two. I mean, two putt birdie. Get off this hole onto the fifth as the dart's coming down. So, eagle putt, which would be massive as any eagles I get in the challenge would earn me a special mulligan that I could use at any point later oh. in the round. Six, 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 However, six, six, okay. that was not anything I was thinking we about here. On that. This could be the easiest birdie of the day. Take your time. Come on. I just wanted to make the two putt and get off this hole. We love two putt birdies. We're not going to have many of them today. Hole five, a longer par three, but more pressingly, we were starting to run low on lights. If we can get through this, I think we've made a great dent in this. Highlighted as a trickier hole before we got here due to my historically poor iron play, I actually was hitting them pretty well. I'd settled for a six iron for the 160-ish yard shot. However, despite hitting a lot of greens in reg, I just couldn't get one close enough to make, and this was looking like my worst hole yet. Making putts from 30 plus feet was not easy but I was leaving myself the same type of putt and after five attempts, I got sort of comfortable with the line and eventually I made it. Huge celebrations, that could easily have slipped into double figures. I'm honestly starting to worry. I'm hitting some quality goal shots. Can't make a putt, a long putt is just what the doctor ordered. Hole six and stroke index one. However, not as long as the seventh up next. This was now a race against the darkness to try and get as many attempts as we could in here but most likely looking like we were gonna to have to revisit oh, yes, these please. holes in the morning. Could I get one more ticked off though? It wasn't looking good as my first approach into the green was very was heavy. Line, Despite it not looking so on camera, no it was now very, very Absolutely dark. So no I decided idea. to abandon that ball and head back to the sea and try and get one more attempt in before we lost all the light, even having to bring the boys in the and the buggy for an assist for my final approach. Okay, it's a good contact, it's right at the flag, I think. I think that's gonna be pin high-ish, 20 to 30 feet right. So we should have a look, but I've got no idea. Oh my God, it's got a chance. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, that would have been insane. That means tomorrow, at some point, we have to come back and do six, seven, eight, nine on the front nine, which is weirdly what we thought might happen. Okay, it's night golf time. The floodlights are on. The course is now all ours. The 10th hole, this is gonna be a big part of the video. We've gotta just grind through these holes here. Get comfortable on this 10th. 
Hopefully won't be here too long, but not the best start. Fanning this one out to the right and then chunking my approach. I was worried this might be a thing, as despite the light being beautiful to look at, it was very different to normal when you're looking down on the ball at night. So I abandoned that one and went back to the tee. Better on the second attempt, but I couldn't make the putt. Oh, it does not break. However, I wasn't too worried. Being a shorter hole, I knew I'd get plenty of looks soon enough. And that's exactly what I had on attempt number three. Making this eight footer to get the night golf party truly started. Come on, come on. That is what we like. Did not want to be messing around on a short path like this for too long. We move. 11th hole. This was a worrying sign. Oh, Another it. pushed tee shot. And this one we never even found. Finish this one's a goner. A better second tee shot, though not close enough for it to go in in two. I was going to have to make birdie right. the old fashioned way on this hole. But no matter which way, I was not making birdie from there. And with it being such a long walk on these par fives, I decided to abandon this one too after flying the green. Third go and a much better drive. It must have got a nice bounce off something because all of a sudden I was in that range. One. Mr. Bunker. I thought I was in that bunker. I wasn't. Look how far it's gone. Well, almost in range. Not on the green, but I left myself this up and down and it was another hole ticked off in only three attempts. <laughs> we like that. We like that a lot. Get in, please. Yes! You know, as soon as that ball's got in, I've just realized I'm so hungry. It's an appropriate time to tell you that. Birdie, on the par five. We ain't going nowhere. Get in. Okay, so now I've put some calories back into my body. Now is a great time to tell you guys about the Fitbit Sense 2. So as you guys know, I've been using the Fitbit for many, many months now. In fact, you've probably seen me in all my other golf content on Instagram. I've been wearing this pretty much non-stop. And if you wear it non-stop, you get a huge amount of data. As you get your constant heart rate, you get your heart rate variability, and you get your readiness score every single morning. So you know just how ready you are to attack the day. So far today, I've walked 36,493 steps, covered 23 kilometers, 70 flights of stairs, and total I've burned 4,400 calories. Right, so that's mental. EDA scan, quick scan, two minutes. Go. 15 responses. Wow. Responses may be caused by stress or other factors. Yep, it's been a bit of that. Okay, back to it. Hole 12, and I was really worried about this one. Over 440 yards. With my long iron play and left to right shape, it was due to be a really tricky customer. I was consistently leaving myself about 200 yards in, and that was when I did hit the fair. Oh my God. This had the potential to be a real momentum oh my killer. God, Lord. I was gonna need some help getting through this one. And on my fifth attempt, a very timely call from another friend of the channel, Mr. Golf YouTube himself, Rick Shields, was very helpful give me some words morale and, up. Give me, give me some Shields magic. Think if you were giving advice to other people, your advice would be very wholesome and valuable. So my advice to you is be your own best friend. Oof. Okay. With that in mind, well, I'm, I've got to do it. Do it. Let's, let's pass this over to Marcus and let's make this birdie putt. So this is big. This is really big. Let's get the flag out. I'd hit one in close and on one of the tougher holes, I could not afford to miss a chance like this. No, I didn't move. It didn't move. I liked it off the face as well. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna hit one in better than that to this flag. Right. Sorry, mate. I'm going back. Don't be sorry. I'm going back. It's good. Keep it hope. And there'll be there'll be one or two of these waiting for you. Yes, a Guinness. Could do one of them. Right, thanks, mate. So with Guinness as my inspiration, back I went, but to little avail. With so far in for my approach, plenty were missing the green altogether, ah, leading me to abandon more balls. And soon one. enough, we were on a new personal we worst the score. That one. Back to the tee. Ah. But on attempt eight, I fell in love with my approach shot and had another Be good. decent look. Be good. Be good. Give me something. <laughs> Surely that's got to be good. I've got to have to take the flag out because if the ball hits the flag and doesn't go in, I'll just never forgive myself. Give that to you, Zach. Do it, do it! Yes! Yes! Right, it's the biggest score so far, but I don't care. I'm just delighted to be off this hole. We've been in this hole, well, I don't know, however long, a long time. I don't know, maybe two hours on this hole? Something like that? I'm out of here. Moving on. 
moving on. Come on. 510 yard par five, possibly my best chance to make birdie on the first attempt I had left. I just needed to get a good drive away. Oh, I've munched it. That's as good as I've got. One of the best ones I've hit all day, that. Go. And go it did. I still had around 230 yards in. Not a guarantee, but a chance to at least get it close to the Oh, green. baby. I can't see that far. But that is all over the flag line. Probably a bit short, but hitting them good. It's got to convert. I gave this one my full attention, going to get a good look on the putting surface before I hit it. As another solid up and down, and I would finally have made one on the first attempt. Middle right, well, bargain, I hate straight putts. Come on. Come on, Sebi. This is big. Yes! That's it. That's it. Stop going for breaks. Just rattle them straight in. Birdie. First time birdie in the books. Is that nine birdies now? We're halfway there, guys. We are halfway there. And time for a bite to eat, a shower, a quick outfit change to freshen things up. The staff had stayed up late and kept the clubhouse open. They made us pizza, we were fueled up and back at it. Hole 14, a short par three and a very similar distance to the second hole. So I was feeling pretty good about eight iron again. Big deep breath, and could we get another first time birdie? I'm back a bit. But as the night was setting in, the greens were getting wetter and wetter and I left it short. I was in. Look at that, I was in straight away. I went straight to that one as well. I was feeling good about this one though, so we sent the drone the up one. to see if we could catch a That's good one, one into the green, and oh, Be did good. we ever. Be I good. loved this the second it left the club, oh, and I was about close. to love it Cam, even more when I saw it on Cam's talk screen. Yes! Come on. Nice. A nice little two, and a two, if you know what I mean. 10 birdies, we move. Right, we just heard on the uh, the flyover, love that, pilot cam, uh, it might be blocked. I think it's sort of in range. I don't think I could get on the green for like an eagle putt, but I think I just gotta get as close as I can. So I'm gonna go at the last floodlight, right of the tree, and we'll just suss it out. We'll suss it out a few times. That is not a good drive. That is in the trees on the right, watch that. So first attempt abandoned, the second attempt much better, and as a draw of the ball, this there should suit me well. Oh, it's drawing as well, listen. No sound indeed, and a nervous walk up, but was met with some very good news. Is that a ball on the bank? Hoo -hoo -hoo. Outside chance for a chip in eagle. One more short pitch later, and it was birdie number 11 in the books. You know what, it was on a good line for a while there. It was on a good line for a while, but that should be a kicking birdie. Come on, here we go, here we go. 16th hole, I was in between clubs in, trying to take something off it. Oh, I've taken loads off it. That is rubbish. That has hit a bank and rolled all the way down. We're killing that ball straight away. Attempt number two, still with the eight iron, and that was more like it. It was on line and in. <laughs> Long putts were so valuable in this challenge and just look how surprised I was to see this one go in. Wow, look at it. Tracking. Absolutely tracking. All of a sudden, the shower has just been a revelation. I've got the joggers on, got some different shoes. Spider has been stuck in the microwave. We are flying. On, the, on this current time, we are going to be done like so far before sunlight. And we've only got two more holes we can do in the dark and then we're done. So it's just dead time. So, but let's worry about that then. For now, we've got two more birdies to make. This is probably the last one I'm concerned about. This is like a long par four. And boy was I right to be concerned. This medium length par four, although it wasn't overly long, it was an awkward shape. Meaning if it went too far left or right, I was blocked by trees. And despite hitting some great drives off the tee, I just kept being left with a shot, which had some degree of tree trouble. On this hole, I hit probably one of the best shots of the day, this low punch under the trees. However, it went long. I didn't know that at the time until it went up there, so we had to give it a go. And it had a chance, but no cigar. Oh, back we go. Oh. Bit 
and now things really got ugly. No matter what I tried, I just couldn't get the bird. Oh, it's on such a good line, I've just not hit it. Oh my God. All the momentum from that little birdie barrage has worn off on a relatively short par four. After some solid punishment, I pulled my phone out as I needed a break and I found a message from my wife and son back home. <laughs> well, I will send you a message back, Rue. But I think you'll be in bed now because the time I've seen this, it's gone midnight. You should hopefully be in bed. Right, that's cute. Let's give me a lift. Okay. It worked and I hit one in close. Ah! <sighs> that was horrible. This is the longest one now, and I was feeling so good when we got on this tee. Please go in, please go in, please go in. Oh, so nicely. Oh. Oh. Get in, get in. It was getting silly now, well into double figures, and I even had to call in our core chaperone Hussein for a read on attempt number 16. Oh my God, I thought that was gonna lip out so bad. <sighs> 16. I feel, I feel relieved, but I feel just like annoyed. I feel annoyed by this hole. It's always, this hole has annoyed me. 18th hole, the last one in the night. It's on the edge of this. I'm not sure I can get there in two. So this might be, just hit it somewhere and lay up to like 100 yards. And it was indeed too far to get on into. However, it wasn't even that easy in a layup, just to be honest, at least I was making it look hard. <laughs> Tiredness was really setting in and it took a few abandoned balls before we even got a chance to look at the putting surface. I'm losing my mind now. I'm putting the range finder somewhere different every single time. <laughs> but when we did, could I convert? No, of course not. Back we go. Ah! Uh. Yes, it's taken me four goes. I've only just managed to find the layup. So after a while, I got comfortable with the tee shot and the layup. Oh, you the know green what? was eating That's me alive. That's all right. Oh. oh, it's such a good line. Don't leave it short, Sebi. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> what have I said earlier about leaving the flag in? I've got lazy. I've got lazy. I said I don't want the flag to cost me. That was in if the flag was out. Didn't break this time. I'm not broken. I'm not broken, but I felt like we were so close on 17. I thought we were going to get in and we were going to have quite a long time to like recuperate before we had to go out and do the front nine again. But I mean, we've been out here hours now, 17 and 18. Just killed us. Ah! Uh, get the flag out. And before long, things were starting to get desperate. You're kidding me. Can we put the sprinklers on and nudge that in? Yes! That looks about three foot. I mean, you've seen it. How close are we talking? Really close. Right. And this is attempt number 14. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. I want to lay down so bad, it's soaking wet. Right, there's not long left until the sun comes up. We've got four holes left, guys. We've got a problem. We've got a big problem. Oh, but before that, we had an absolute treat in store for us. Tenth hole, good night, done. You know what I'm gonna do next? That 12th hole, that 12th hole was a pig. Can you see that 12th hole out there? I see you, boss. Good night.
What else do I not like? 17, you're an absolute twat hole. Good night. Finished. Now we wait for the sun to come up. We've got about an hour. We're gonna to go to the hotel, it's a 24 hour restaurant there. We can get, um, get some breakfast, probably have another shower and change, and then finish this thing off. Now they say the cameras never lie, but in this case, it may look like, but trust me, we could not see the fairway still. We were poised and ready to go, but after the break, I'd started to get really stiff. We had a few hours left on the clock, but still some of the hardest holes on the course to finish off. It was going to be phenomenally difficult to complete this challenge, so we needed to talk tactics. We've done this hole four times already, and yeah, we didn't make birdie, right? Now we've got two things we're up against. We're gonna run out of time, but also the early tee times are gonna go out now-ish on the first tee. They're gonna catch us up eventually. 18 is still possible, 16 is a new realistic target. Six and seven could be an issue, but I think we can go now, boys. I think we can do this. I think we've got enough light. The clock is ticking, let's get back on it. However, despite not feeling loose, it was an okay tee shot. A little jog to get the blood flowing, a thousand practice swings. Okay, I've just made a huge mistake, my hands are killing me now. See that? It's sore. And then a sweet seven iron later, and all of a sudden, we had a putt, and the unthinkable was possibly back on the carbs. Can't see it down. That's as good as seven hours I can hit. Yes! Come on! It's back on, guys. It is back on. Seventh hole. Now, this was the one. This was the one I was most worried about. First of all, clearing the water off the tee, I mean, let alone the 200 plus yard carry. carry. The, the more oh, drives I hit, no. the worse my back was getting. And the euphoria of that birdie on oh, six so felt like a distant myself. memory. My body was giving up on me, and I couldn't even get near the green in two, so I had a difficult decision to make. This is, this is it, guys. This is the last attempt on this hole. It's not actually that bad, 200 yards in, but I've, really, I've sort of ripped something here a little bit, and every time I really go into the ball, it's really hurting now. It's not even a golf shot anymore, is it? It's not a golf shot. Let's get off this hole, guys. Let's get on the eighth. Let's just get on the eighth. This was a nice club for me. We'd had a little bit of a touch, as technically this was a new day. The green staff had moved some of the pin, and this one was much more favourable. It wasn't long before I had it dialed in, and I was giving myself good looks at birdie. And I even found a nice little shortcut I could start using to get back to the tee. Time was running out, though. However, I knew if I could just make this one, then 16 out of 18 birdies was still a great score, and I still would have an outside look at getting to the ninth hole, my 17th birdie, and maybe even back to the seventh for one last crack at the full set. It was you taking guys, too long, though, and all of a sudden we spotted the first group of the day catching oh, no. up to us. We had the traffic catching us and the clock running down on us. But then a solid iron into the green, and a nice putt, and we'd made it! <laughs> Could we sneak in Get one more birdie for a really solid score of 17? Getting the full 18 seemed to be gone now, but I wasn't giving up yet. The rule I'd set myself was that I could keep playing until the time ran out, and as long as I'd hit my tee shot before the buzzer went, we could finish oh, no, that hole left. we were on. First tee shot, just needed it in play, but the back had That's given it. up. Again, Way left, and we wrote that one off straight from the tee to save time. Much better this time, 144 yes. in. Okay. It was such a shame, as I knew with enough time I could get this birdie, but this one had to be now. The heart rate was now oh, at its highest of the day so far, but I needed to calm down here oh, and hit a quality shot. Oh, I have. Stay there now. Do you believe in miracles? No, nope, me either. But still, we might get one more chance for some magic to happen. All I had to do was to get back to the tee oh and my hit God. my tee shot before the time ran out. 25 seconds, okay. Fine. Get the heart rate down. Give me a countdown. Okay. Come on. That's it. That's the last ball. Let's go and make a birdie. Oh, it's all over it. 
There's a bit left. So six, six, we're not going to get six, to 18, six. but just before we find out whether it's going to be 16 or 17 birdies, I want to thank you all very much for watching. There, it's been an absolute beast of a video, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like and subscribe for my next adventure coming soon. Huge thank you to the guys at Fitbit for making this whole video possible. I absolutely love my Sense 2, so highly recommend you guys checking it out via the link in the description. Here we go. Oh my god, I nearly didn't take the flag out. That would have been disastrous. Get this flag out. One more putt. Please go in. Break, break, break. No. There's a group behind. I want to lay down so bad. I want to lay down so bad. Stop it in. It's a good four. It's a good four. Oh. Go get off the green. There's a group behind. Pay pitch marks. Tip your waitresses. Tip your waiters. Do it all. I'm gonna go and die. Is that even a golfer? Yeah. 16. Damn it!